Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. I've just released my unboxing of Chaos Space Marines Abaddon the Despoiler and the new Chaos Space Marines. I'll be releasing reviews of those models next week. Tomorrow will be the Chaos Space Marine Codex first look, which at the moment is about an hour long, um, so I hope I can trim it down a bit. Um, and then Monday will be the Vigilus Ablaze um, first look, followed by the rest of the Chaos um, Space Marine reviews next week. Maybe with a White Dwarf video and a Warhammer 40k Conquest video thrown in next week as well for good measure. I want to say a huge thank you to all of the subscribers of the channel and everyone that continues to watch the videos every single day. I produced videos every single day for about a year um, from 2017 to 2018. Then I had a break for a few months and then since about October last year it's been every single day again. So thank you for everyone that continues to check back to the channel or, or picks up on the notifications um, whenever I release a new video. I also want to say a huge thank you to all of the Patreons. I'm a very small channel, so a dollar a month helps me continue to make this content. So any support for the content really does make a difference. One example is this month, uh, I wasn't going to cover the Chaos Space Marines at all, um, but I've decided to do that. But as a result, I wasn't able to get the Noctilith Crown or the Chaos Terminators, and I might have to skip out on a couple of other releases for them. So it does make a difference whenever people can um, help towards the channel as well. I'll be making a separate video at some point very soon um, on other ways you can support the channel. But let's jump on over to the Warhammer Community website from last weekend. So I think I must have covered um, this article about, about Chaos Space Marines and Vigilus Ablaze um, all being up for pre-order last weekend. The day after on the Sunday, there was a focus on the Alpha Legion finally. It's one of the legions that I'm thinking of painting mine as either that or word bearers or just paint them in my death guard um, colors and add them to the force i'm still undecided um, and i think i've asked that question in my chaos space marine unboxing um, video so i had a focus on um, alpha legion coming soon was a new havocs and terminators really like the kit unfortunately yes it's up for pre-order today and it is 32 pound 50 which makes it four pounds more than um, the current Space Marine Devastator set and you get a lot of options in that set. In this set I think you get two of each weapon except for that re except for that Reaper Chain Cannon, this bad boy here, which is a fantastic weapon, um, especially when you uh, couple it with the Cacophony um, Stratagem, meaning you can fire it twice, um, 16 shots, imagine having four of those. But Games Workshop they make the models first, then they make the rules. So I'm pretty sure um, that they designed the rules, designed the sprues, and then they created the rules and they thought, oh, we've only included one of these weapons <laughs> in the uh, box set. Um, and it would mean that you'd have to buy four, bo four separate boxes or just pay for the uh, bits separately um, from another site, I suppose. Anyway, really cool looking models, however much you feel about the price um, and the lack of that um, Reaper Chain Cannon. They've been increased to have a Toughness 5 rules wise and these little bony claws on their feet now mean that they can fire these massive heavy weapons and still move. That's suspect. Uh, is it a classic case of making things better just because they can? Maybe, but then again, you can only have five of them in the squad um, and they're definitely gonna be a target from now on. Um, they're the sprues themselves. You've got the auto cannon there. You've got the reaper chain cannon. There's probably a missing sprue because as you can see, it only has one heavy bolter and the kit has already said that it comes with two. Um, it would have been nice if it was four sprues, but there's uh, clearly another sprue that we're not seeing. Then you've got the terminators. Now I'm not a huge fan mainly because of this armor. It's, it's a newer armor. Yes, it was around in the Horus Heresy, but I much prefer like the Death Guard Terminators in the Cataphracty or Tartarus pattern. Um, 
this just looks like a, a, an improvement over the, the previous models, a slight improvement. Um, I do like this power mace though, and I do like the lightning claws, um, but everything else, there's definitely more movement in the models. I'll, I'll give them that, but I'm just not a big fan. Um, and unfortunately I've not pre-ordered them, um, much like I missed out on the uh, Noctilith crown. Anyway, that was the um, article uh, about the coming soon. There's a preview for April's White Dwarf, which I should get sometime next week. Hopefully I won't get it on Friday, like I did, I think, um, last month's one. There's the guest editor, which is uh, Mr. Tony Cottrell, the genius behind many of the decisions uh, at Forge World, um, along with Andy Hoare, of course. And it just gives you a breakdown of what to expect in the magazine. If you haven't picked up a White Dwarf magazine um, for a while, definitely check out uh, my um, first look next week. Um, this will be April's edi edition. So if, you, if you're not sure what happened, well, back in January, they decided to, for the new year, they decided to change the format of the magazine to not have any of the like pre-orders and pricing in there. It's mainly a magazine now that's for the hobbyist. It includes short stories. It includes model focuses, interviews, uh, I like that format, but I also liked it when you could see all the new releases coming up uh, as well. This week at Adepticon, on Thursday, they released um, some more previews. We'll go through them in a, in a bit. And then um, there was a Forge World preview for Malevolence. Uh, basically, they gave you the contents, which is fantastic. And with the contents, it's quite clear to see there's about 300 or so pages uh, in the book. So it's a big, thick book. It's gonna be 80 pounds. It's up for pre-order uh, yesterday. Goes through the campaigns, the legions, which focuses on blood angels and white scars. So you're gonna have the uh, special rule for the blood angels there, the Encarmine Fury. It showed you um, the new um, Paladin uh, Terminators, um, which again are also up for pre-order and a, a Dreadnought, Contempt of Dreadnought, um, with uh, Vicious Claws, Heavy Flamers, and, yeah, you guessed it, a Jump Pack. That was previewed in the um, Horus Heresy Weekender. We got a glimpse of one of the um, design photos for that, um, but it also covers uh, White Scars, um, a little bit about Alpha Legion there in that photo. Um, you got Swift Action, the White Scars rule, and then some more army lists, including um, demons for the first time. So that was the preview. Uh, we'll go through those uh, pre-orders in a, in a moment. Coming soon, Warhammer School Alliance. Basically, it's an initiative aimed at helping school clubs and educational groups support young people across the UK and help them learn the fundamental skills of modeling, painting, and gaming through participating in the Warhammer hobby. Essentially, get them when they're young. If you get them when they're young and they spend the next 30, 40 years buying plastic, then <laughs> I shouldn't be so negative. I shouldn't because I am one of those people, but I wasn't grabbed by Games Workshop at a, at a young age. Um, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean? It was because my friends did the hobby and, and I got quite interested in it. Um, and it was through my friend's motivation rather than this whole club initiative thing. Warhammer World, new Warhammer World, um, Cygnus Prime. Uh, if you're at the Warhammer um, Weekender, the Horus Heresy event, you would have seen this. You would have seen this also um, on the video that I made, um, showcasing pictures. There's these three beautiful Mastodon um, super heavy transport tanks. Now they've added a Thunderhawk and a couple of Lightning Craft, and you've got um, Sanguinius in there as well. It's a fantastic um, battle um, scene. And uh, yeah, look, there he is. It's a fantastic battle scene, and essentially, he uh, it's going to be it's the new display at Warhammer World. So if you go in there um, anytime soon, um, you can go and check it out in person. The UK Games Expo, a bit of an advert for that. Thirty first of uh, May to the second of June. Apocrypha Necromundus Port Mad Dog. There's an article on that. Warhammer Horror Perdition's Flame, Immortal Foes. This was pretty good. Um, nice little look at both uh, Abaddon and um, Rebuto Gilliman and uh, went through the composition of them and their bases, how similar they are. And um, the Regimental Standard, Machine Spirit, Adepticom. So this was the information on Thursday that was released. And uh, there's a preview of um, Forbidden Power, a few new models there. 
Um, the next battle tome will be Fire Slayers, um, some cool new Magmic Invocations, Age of Sigmar, um, then there was a Warhammer Underworlds uh, Night Vault, um, new Warband for the Underworlds, uh, Warcry, really awesome looking models for Warcry, these demon models as well. And then uh, they had a small focus on um, Warhammer 40,000 um, uh, Apocalypse. It says the new Apocalypse is a ground up reimagining of mass battles in the 41st millennium. Totally new rule set. Interesting. They've got the 40k movement um, trays. Uh, for, for Apocalypse, there are so many big, huge point costed models out there now that it's such an investment for both money and time to play these sort of games takes a lot of time it says that the game feels tight hopefully uh, they make apocalypse games faster somehow and i think movement trays will probably help with that but that will be interesting to see what they come up with the future of warhammer 40,000, the second book of vigilus series um is now here and then they're going to be exploring other um, war zones across the 41st millennium then there was the ex event exclusive model. If you went to the Adepticon, uh, you would be able to get um, this Primaris Lieutenant. We haven't had another Lieutenant um, for a while, so I'm glad that they chose another Lieutenant for the um, Adepticon <laughs> event exclusive. So they've decided to support and reward those people that sell limited edition models on eBay for 50, 60 pound per model by guess what releasing more so if you go to more events they're going to be more event exclusive models um, of which people will be selling on auction websites at ludicrous amounts this librarian um, will be uh, another one which will appear and finally for the realm of chaos we have got finally the keeper of secrets it is an absolutely stunning paint job, especially those horns. Um, seductive? No, don't think so. Um, it's nice. The sword is fantastic, and those claws are, are, are incredible too, and the musculature, but that paint job is just in another world. It's, it's absolutely incredible. I love how the skin, or whatever, these leggings have been held up by these two um, rings. Am I the only one that saw that the god of Slanesh is wearing tights? <sighs> Maybe I am, but still, I think it needs more boobs, personally. Um, it's supposed to be this seductive creature, but I question its seductibility in its current form. But there we go. Um, if you like it, put it in the comments below. Uh, if you hate it, please, you know, put the reasons why. Um, however, what we do know is, is we're going to be getting a midget Slanesh um, acrobat on top of this uh, Slanesh uh, model. Um, we're also getting, going to be getting this thing um, with some kind of jester rod stick. Again, is it seductive? They're all wearing these purple tights. I, I don't know. And these, I mean, their grins are quite manic probably more manic to be in you know the laughing god or to be on nurgle rather than slanesh slanesh should be really seductive and you know desirable um you know playing on people's um basis desires i don't know whether it fulfills that i don't know whether games workshop can get away with it fulfilling that fulfilling that anyway um so yeah that was the uh, little preview for Head Knights of Slanesh. Then there was a Black Library Live coming soon. Uh, Blood Angels Armies from the Studio. Middle Earth blog by Chris Barwitch's collection. And the Heretic Astartes Tactica Havocs. This is the article whereby they said that Toughness 5 is a big deal. It is. Everybody's talking about it. Toughness 5 and you can move and shoot with heavy weapons. However, you can only have 5 in the squad. Weapon loadouts. Uh, they really promote um, the Reaper chain cannons with the eight shots each. And then they specifically pointed out the Endless Cacophony and how eight last cannon shots sound. Well, if you had four Reaper chain cannons, that's 64 shots at strength five, AP minus one, damage one. 
there's not a lot that's going to escape 64 shots. So there's a big focus there on the Havocs. Um, I really like them. I have pre-ordered them. You'll see the unboxing and review next week. There's a Tactica for the Chaos Terminators. How to equip them um, well, how to uh, make the most out of them. Well, you can equip them with a Reaper Auto Cannon, which is the way to go. It's a 36 inch range weapon and it keeps them out of range from some of the um, smaller weapons fire, which weight of shooting could take them down. Getting stuck in, give them lightning claws, axes, you name it, and then you get bonuses. I like what Games Workshop do with the uh, focusing on the new units coming out a week before or close close to when they're being released. I mean, this article was, apologies, only yesterday <laughs> and they're up for pre-order today. But I definitely think that that's a, a positive and Games Workshop should do that more often. The Warhammer community website should do it more often. Uh, focus on the new units coming out and look at the rules and how best to use them. Big fan of that. Then you've got turn signals on a land raider and number 18 and then grim dark corners, tactical dreadnought armor. Um, a nice, nice little look at, at Terminator armor, otherwise known as tactical dreadnought armor. Um, the origins of it, there's one being put, put together. Known patterns, you've got the Indomitus, the Aegis, the Gorgon, the Cataphracti right there, the Aquilon and the Tartarus. <laughs> the Saturnine, and finally the Alaris, um, which is for the uh, Custodes. Then Terminator armor in the 45. The most common type is the Undomitus. You also get the Death Shroud and the Blight Lord, um, where uh, the Corrupted Cataphracty Plate. Then you get the Scarab Occult Terminators uh, of the Thousand Suns. There's a Prospering variant of the Agile Tartarus pattern and so on. There's more about Terminator armor in the Codex Adeptus Astartes and uh, in Book 8 and Book 8 in the Horus Heresy series by Forgeworld, Malevolence. And that was it for all of the news. Um, quite a lot to get through. Let's jump on over to Forgeworld and see what's going on there. So if we go to new and we look at pre-orders, this is what we've got. We've got this week's Horus Heresy pre-orders. For an elite choice and an HQ choice and a book, it's £265. Let's not beat around the bush. Okay, I know that's quite a simplistic way of looking at it. You've got a £60 squad of elite guard Terminators and you've got the £125 Sanguinius model with the amazing base and you've got an £80 book. But it's still £265 there. You've got Blood Angels, the Day of Revelation. Um, you've got a, a selection of um, normal Space Marines and uh, a land speeder. And let's see exactly what you get though. You get uh, Space Marine Assault Squad, uh, a Legion Moritat, but he's uh, all the way at the back, and he should be all the way at the front in my opinion, um, with Volkite Serpenta. Uh, you get a Destroyer Squad with jump packs and a land speeder um, set. This is really, really interesting because um, what you've got here is 25 models, well, 27 if you include the Moritat and the land speeder. But it only um, shows in the breakdown five resin, five um, resin miniatures with jump packs, the Moritat, and then five resin miniatures with jump packs again, and then the land speeder. So in here, it looks like you get twelve models, but the picture shows twenty-seven. That's really confusing, and I'd stay well clear of that. Um, Sanguinius is one hundred and twenty-five pounds. I have the model. Um, still haven't got the base yet. That's pretty gutting because he is temporarily out of stock, but I could have pre-ordered him with the base and got him the same time as everyone else, even if I didn't go to the event, which is leaves a hugely bitter taste in my mouth. The Horus Heresy Book 8, uh, that's still available. That's £80. It says uh, 300 pages, hardback. Um, I got Book 7. I have pre-ordered this book, so you will see it appear on the channel next week, fingers crossed. Sanguinius himself, he is temporarily out of stock, most likely because of my review. <laughs> no, 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 I don't know about that. But still, absolutely fantastic model. I can't um, sing his praises enough. Uh, the diorama base um, isn't available separately, which is a shame, and I think it should be available separately. 
um, for those that didn't pre-order it at the event. I was led to believe that you could get that um, base separately. So now everybody that bought Sanguinius and in the hope of getting that base are completely stuffed um, for the time being until they um, have that as a separate item on Forge World's um, website. Uh, so there'll be a lot of unhappy people um, that aren't able to get the uh, diorama base now separately. And then the Blood Angels Crimson Paladins. Again, this is another squad that I'm waiting for. It says it will ship from the 5th of April. They've had that for a long time. And my, and my squad of Crimson Paladins have taken eight weeks. Um, and I still haven't got a dispatch order. Um, but I could pre-order them today, like everyone else. But they cost £60. So that's all the pre-orders on Forge World. I don't want to give them too much I don't want to um, talk too much about um, uh, the models uh, because uh, I've, at the moment um, I've now experienced something very negative. I'm much more reluctant now to go to any of the Horus Heresy weekend events or any Forge World events to be honest um, and I can't fully um, recommend them as much as I uh, have in the past. Okay let's then move away from Forge World and jump to Games Workshop whereby we can now pre-order um, both these Havocs and the um, Terminators. Uh, so we'll just view all. They were already on view all. There's not many at all. If we go to high to low. You've got the Horus Heresy print on demand collection hardback. It looks there like you've got five hardback books for £100. Typically they're £20 each. If we just click on this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, this week's pre-orders, you just have the uh, box set of Terminators and the Havocs. Let's have a look at the Terminators first of all, guys. So £35, quite straightforward for a box of Terminators. And um, there's the Reaper Auto Cannon. I like the combi weapons. Let's have a look at them. So, I don't know whether I'd have this guy running with the Auto Cannon. But, um, I don't know which other legs I would choose. I mean, these legs look the same. We've got some nice pictures of them with the tusks. There's even a horn coming out of that one. There's one of the sprues. Oh, look at that axe. That axe looks awesome. Heavy flamer, some lightning claws, some trophy racks. Uh, and they only show the other sprue. There's the power mace, chain axe, power sword, chain fist, looks like. So yeah, pretty decent, I think it's just in two sprues. But there we go, there's the uh, Terminators. Let's have a look at these Havocs, £32.50. Like I said before, £4 more than um, a Devastator, Space Marine Devastator set. Uh, so it says here you get two auto cannons, two heavy bolters, two last cannons, two missile launchers, and one Reaper chain cannon. Boy, does that suck. I'd much rather have two Reaper Chain Cannons and, well, two of everything, really. Um, just to even it out. But this is the Reaper Chain Cannon. Absolutely awesome model. And they're on, it looks like 40 mil bases. That'd be amazing if they are. Rather than 32 mil. But there you got one with a Flamer, Plasma Gun, Missile Launcher. I'm not a big fan of the old school missile launchers, but I am a big fan of that Reaper chain cannon. Looks amazing. Uh, they're the sprues. So you've got a chainsaw there. Got a missile launcher and last cannon. Oh, you've got a melter gun. And there's the Reaper auto cannon, heavy bolter, and the chain cannon. So we are missing another sprue there, I think, if you just count the legs up. Um, I think it's a third sprue that is completely new. I don't think it is a duplicate, so I think you're getting three sprues there. Um, yeah, it says here, plasma gun, melter gun, flamer, power maul, and chain sword. So that's the uh, Space Marine Havocs. Um, I'll be unboxing them next weekend. Um, and Malevolent should come either Friday or Saturday. Um, so there's a couple of nice unboxings coming up. Um, then you've got uh, different books uh, in hardback for £20 each. Um, still no sign of the Solar War. Uh, 
I think I said in last week's video that um, that is coming out in April, I think, sometime at the end of next month or maybe start of May, um, which is too long away compared, you know, in comparison to the limited edition. They all should have come out at the same time, both um, the limited edition, the hardback, and a softback version, all at the same time. And then you're giving people the, most of the options um, to, to get hold of that book, which would be brilliant. Um, but they're choosing not to do that. Okay, that's it for the pre-orders for Games Workshop. As you can see, just a couple, just the Havocs and the Terminators. Next weekend, um, I wonder if we'll get the Lord Discordant up for pre-order uh, and maybe the Executioner and possibly the uh, Dark Apostle. They're the last three um, pre-orders up um, for the Chaos Space Marines. So what do you guys think of the Havocs and the Terminator models? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.